in this tutorial we will create this object and this object let's start with this object click on create sketch select the plane pan it here at first we will create these three circles of 23 radius 31 and 40 radius click here and select circle center diameter circle give the center point give the diameter 46 enter enter you can also give circle command by pressing C on the keyboard press C give the center point give the diameter of 80 enter enter you can drag this dimension outside so it will be visible properly now these two circles are ready the next is this circle of radius 31 that is 62 diameter which is a reference circle press C give the center point and click here and select construction then give the diameter of 62 enter enter then create this circle of diatin again press C give the center point drag this center point from here click the intersection point I don't want it construction click here to cancel the construction give the diameter of 10 enter enter then we need this circle 6 numbers we will array this circle click on sketch circular array select this circle then click here and select the center point then give the quantity to be 6 enter the next is these two circles at a distance of 46 we will create one reference line click on line then from here click on construction give the first point give the second point then escape and we want one more vertical reference line also take the line command create one vertical reference line escape again line one horizontal reference line here escape and give the dimension click here and select sketch dimension select this line select this line and give the gap of 46 enter then again select this point and select this line and give the gap of 60 click and give the gap of 60 escape now this center line is shifted select this center line control select this center point and click on coincidence then next is to create these circles create one horizontal reference line take the line command give the first point give the second point escape then create these circles one is of 30 diameter and other is of 16 diameter press C give the center point then cancel this construction mode and give the diameter of 16 enter enter again C give the center point give the diameter of 30 enter enter then trim the unwanted portion click here and select trim click on the object to be removed and press escape then here is the fillet of radius 8 click on sketch fillet select this curve select this curve give the radius of 8 then select this curve and this curve and press enter the next is this portion this is a dia 22 circle and this is dia 36 press C for circle give the center point give the diameter of 36 enter enter again press C click the center point give the diameter of 22 enter enter then there is this circle of radius 8 which is tangent to these both circles press C 
create one circle of diameter 16 enter enter then select this circle control select this circle and scroll down here and apply the tangent constraint again select this circle control select this circle then scroll down here and select tangent constraint then trim the unwanted portion keyboard shortcut for trim is T press T and remove the unwanted portion then escape same shape is required below also we will mirror it click on sketch mirror then select the object and this horizontal line also then select here and click on the mirror line this horizontal line will be the mirror line and click on ok next is this 100 radius circle create one circle press C tangent to this circle escape give the dimension press D for dimension give the diameter of 200 enter escape now we need this center point on this line select this point control select this line and make them coincident then trim this portion press T and remove this portion Okay, this object is ready. Again, click on new design, click on create sketch, select the plane. Next is this object. Here, at first, we will create this circle of 40 diameter and 62 diameter. Press C, give the center point, give the diameter of 40, enter, enter, give the center point, give the diameter of 62, enter, enter. Then next is to create these two circles of 8 diameter and 16 diameter. Create two circles, press C, give the center point, track this point, click on the intersection point, give the diameter of 16, enter, enter. Again press C, give the center point, give the diameter of 8, enter, enter. Then we don't need this portion, press T for trim and remove this portion. Then we need the array of these two circles. Click here and select circular pattern. Then select the object. Then select the center point. Click here and select the center point. Then give the number of atoms to be 6. Click on ok then trim the unwanted portion press T and remove these curvatures pan it ok then next is this axis at a distance of 65 create one line press on line Click on construction and create one horizontal line. Escape this one line at a distance of half of 110. Again select line, create one vertical line. Escape. Give the dimension, press D for dimension. Select this horizontal line, select the center point. Give the gap of 65 enter select this point select this line click the location give the gap of 55 enter escape then there are these two circles are there one is of dia 30 and other is of dia 20 press c for circle give the center point cancel construction mode give the diameter of 20 enter Again C, give the center point, give the diameter of 30, enter, enter. Here is one vertical line is there and one arc is there of 36 diameter. Take the line, create one vertical line from this intersection point. Escape, 
then create one circle of 36 diameter press c for circle give the diameter of 36 enter enter then select this line control select this circle scroll down and apply tangent constraint same way again select this circle control select this circle scroll down and apply tangent constraint then remove the unwanted portion press t for trim and remove the unwanted portion and press escape then same is required on the opposite side we will mirror it we will create one mirror line click on line click on construction and create one vertical line escape then click on sketch mirror select the object then click on this select and select the mirror line and click on ok the next is this circle now here radius is not given the radius is 100 we will create one circle press C for circle give the center point cancel construction mode give the diameter of 200 enter enter then drag this circle below with center point and place it like this then select this circle control this circle and apply the tangent constraint then remove the unwanted portion press T for trim and remove it now here same circles are there like this for that select this circle control this circle press ctrl c on the keyboard then to paste this circle press ctrl v then drag this pointer here and drag this pointer below then click on ok then apply the constraint select this circle control this circle and apply the tangent constraint select this circle control this circle and apply concentric constraint to make the diameter of these two circles same select this circle control this circle scroll down and apply equal constraint so their diameter will be same again select this circle control this circle then scroll down and apply equal constraint so their dimension will be same then click on zoom fit that's all thanks for watching we will stop here